This is Ian Morris with Light Reading, and I'm here with uh, David Bayliss of uh, Technicolor. David, thanks for joining me today. Good morning. Um, we're here to talk uh, a lot about uh, open gateways, which is uh, obviously uh, something that's crucial to Technicolor and its strategy at the moment, and you're doing lots in that area. So I mean, maybe you could just start by describing what, these, what yeah, in your view, open gateways are and, and how they kind of differ from the uh, traditional approach. Sure. Well, I think we, we believe that this is a very disruptive and innovative approach to the gateway. The gateway's been a, a necessary evil over the last uh, 10 to 15 years. It's the network termination endpoint. It's seen as something that needs to be invisible to the, uh, to the subscriber and the end user. It's evolved technically, technologically over time. The operators have been able to deploy technology to make it faster, to make the wireless coverage better but it's never been seen as something that is central to the home. As I say, it's something that tends to be hidden away, it doesn't necessarily look good, and it doesn't do very much. It's been uh, a necessary part of the broadband pipe. What we're trying to promote with the Open Gateway Initiative is an opportunity to revolutionize the approach, to make it customer-centric, and to, if you like, mirror what happened with the smartphone business over the last few years. These days, every consumer is used to interfacing with their smartphones on a very regular basis, probably too regular. Um, and that is because there's a rich uh, catalog of applications and features that are constantly arriving silently and smoothly and easily on the, on the smartphone. The gateway does not do that today. It is very difficult to upgrade and, and uh, make it evolve. And so the Open Gateway Initiative is an opportunity to bring the same kind of application store mentality to a gateway. Okay. okay. And one of the one of the big moves that you made recently is a uh, deal with uh, Amazon Web Services. I, I believe as recently as December. That's right. Um, can you talk a little bit about that and what that means in terms of bringing this open gateway concept to service providers? Yes, we we think this is the big facilitator for us to be able to effect this revolution. Um, what Amazon is well known for is effectively the, the cloud computing uh, services that have been available over, over the last few years and have become a very powerful tool for the industry. Uh, what Amazon announced alongside certain of their partners like ourselves uh, back in uh, the end of 2016 was Amazon Greengrass Core, which is an abstraction layer that can be loaded onto uh, the, new, the next generation of powerful gateways and that brings an ability to seamlessly uh, bring new services to the gateway. Um, it, it means that we can address the issues of, of, of the monolithic approach to software development and to feature development for the service gateways in the home. Um, and we think that this partnership with Amazon will really uh, bring us a lot of new opportunities to uh, bring new services to the consumers and to the service providers who need to serve those consumers. Okay, okay. And when, it, when we talk about the connected home, I mean, where, does, where do you think the open gateway ultimately sits within that sort of broader, ultra broadband market and, you know, in terms of bringing value into the connected home? Well, I think the, the, um, the key for us is to make the user experience, the out of box user experience, uh, a much more uh, smooth and, and friendly one for the subscriber. Instead of being uh, a source of irritation and frustration when the gateway doesn't work anymore, uh, we think it should be central to the home. We think it, um, it can be central to the home as this, uh, the wealth of the Amazon application developer community brings a wealth of new applications quickly to the, to the home. The ability to use the Amazon Greengrass lambdas and the containerized secure elements of the different uh, software features that are brought to the gateway will allow um, service providers to bring much quicker, faster service velocity to their subscribers. What we see it as is therefore an ability to modernize much more quickly the install base of features and services that the, ser that the service providers bring to their subscribers. And the goal for that, um, for that service provider is always very simple. It's have a happy customer, reduce the cost of operations, um, reduce churn, and hopefully generate new revenues streams from new services. That's what we think the Open Gateway can bring to, to the service provider. Okay, so what are, you, what are you saying in your in your conversations with service providers at the moment about the specific opportunities that they can realize in this area? What sort of tangible progress are you making there? So I think the uh, the key the key word is the, the cloud is the limit or the sky is the limit. It's, it's possible now to bring in new um, new service propositions, new verticals, 
whether it's in a domain that's been around for a long time but hasn't really been exploited yet, which is IoT. There are billions of, uh, of small devices coming into the home that are all going to be IP connected. They currently tend to be proprietary and not be able to speak to each other or to the gateway that is serving them. Um, the intent would be that the service providers can knit together, can mesh together those IoT devices in a much more um, user-friendly way. They can also branch out into uh, new verticals such as health and insurance. And it, re it really is possible because of the breadth of the application developer community that the Amazon uh, web community can bring for those, cons those uh, service providers to bring many more services quicker to market. And that service velocity is going to be key. Uh, um, maybe you could also talk a little bit about some of the applications that you see starting to appear that, that uh, service providers are introducing uh, as, they, as they embark on an open gateway strategy. I think they have to think, uh, so our, our customers and service providers have to think about what are the most important uh, aspects for making their customers happier, potentially driving revenue. But from our perspective, one of the things that is constantly the, the, the buzzword is the total cost of operations. So that is where the customer stickiness, the ability to avoid uh, and troubleshoot remotely, the ability to make installations quicker, to avoid customer calls to the call center, um, those can be very simple early building blocks that can be implemented uh, quickly, whether it's improving wireless home coverage in the, uh, in the home, which is something that Technicolor is very proud of working on, but all of those customer care aspects that are going to make the customers much more brand aware of the gateway that they have in the home, so that they're not seeing it simply as a broadband client. And I think that's where the customers need to, our customers, the service providers, need to be thinking about what are those first building blocks that can, that can easily be introduced. After that, the, 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 the doors are open to letting that application developer community bring many more services that may not have been imagined at this stage. But that's, that's going to evolve over time. Okay. And what are, what are some of the applications that you're seeing service providers able to uh, introduce in this, in this new environment? So I think um, clearly the, uh, the potential for um, security, um, the home security, the, the consumers today are very concerned about the privacy of their, um, their personal data. Their, there has been an enormous amount of media attention on hackable IoT devices, um, the, the ability to protect the consumer's privacy. I think those are new domains in which the service providers need to be able to reassure their consumers that what, what they are doing on a gateway can be shared in a safe way, can, be, can remain private, can remain local, can be computed locally, does, does not necessarily disappear into the cloud, into that worrying security uh, conscious world in which, in which many subscribers feel, feel insecure. Um, so that, that whole area of secure data storage um, and sharing is important. I think in the medical domain, the, the ability to monitor health and welfare of the aged is also a vertical in which there's a, a whole new opportunity. Um, the insurance companies themselves are also very, con very interested in the possibility of local computing and the ability to keep an eye on the, uh, the health and welfare, welfare of subscribers in the home. So I think there are many new verticals where we can uh, help to contribute. Okay. And how is, how is Technicolor helping? I mean, what are you doing at the moment uh, to, to, to help service providers kind of get, get started on this journey, I guess? I think for a start, we're, we're concentrating on the things that we've been addressing before the arrival of the Open Gateway Initiative at Technicolor, which are effectively those proactive, if you like, self-healing, um, gateway functionality. So staying at the very basic level of being able to remote manage the customer's in-home wireless network. It's a first step, it's something that, that existed before the advent of this new uh, technological break, but it's something that we can solve much more quickly and I think that's an, that's an early and easy win in terms of reducing cost of operations to be able to ensure that the customers are proactively being self-healed in the way that their wireless network uh, functions in the home, so that that gateway experience becomes far more comfortable for them. The other element that clearly is linked also to the Amazon initiative is the fact that voice activation has become very important in, in the market. We already see voice activated remotes uh, more and more widely in the, in the television and video consumption world. <coughs> 
a, a gateway with which you can have a conversational intimacy and that's what the Alexa voice services bring from, from Amazon. This is what we're integrating on our first generation of the, of the, the new powerful gateways. Okay. That's going to be a crucial part to making the consumer relate to his gateway in a different way. Um, the voice activation, it may be seen as a gimmick in, in, in some quarters. I don't know how often you use Siri on your mobile phone. We think in a gateway environment, because it is so difficult for a consumer to understand user interfaces on gateways, to very few um, users get involved in actually looking at the parameters on their gateway, understanding their Wi-Fi network. It's very, very arcane uh, jargon. If there is a way of creating a conversational intimacy around that relationship with the gateway, it's going to make consumers far more comfortable in how they install and set up their homes in which there are more and more wireless connected devices who are, which are more and more complicated and more and more liable to create interferences with each other. The ability to talk to your gateway and simply say fix my problems without having to pick up a phone and call, generate a call center or a truck roll cost is going to be an enormous uh, uh, have enormous implications in the way we can improve customer service. And that for us is, is an easy, quick win that we can implement in the six to 12 months time frame uh, while we wait for the other uh, services to arrive. Okay. So we might all be talking to our gateways in the future. Uh, yes, it's a scary lot. thought, but we <laughs> might. Okay, thanks, Dave. <laughs> thanks for joining me today. Not at all. It's a pleasure.